9 for charging by beaconing and odometry. We start off with a charging unit. It has two vertical charging plates and features an infrared homing beacon. It can provide up to 5 amp switches enough to charge the batteries and power robot electronics. Here you see the infrared light. Each beam corresponds to a different bearing. This is the robot. It has a special drive bay which has been adapted to detect the bearing signals from the charger. The charge bay also features a voltage detector. It plugs straight into the robot power system and computer electronics. There are two curved electrodes at the front of the bay. These pick up power from the charger. The curve allows docking at a wide range of angles. Here you see one of the bearing indicators detecting the charger unit. So now we will show the whole docking procedure take place. The robot is using odometry at this time. However the robot could simply use beaconing instead. The robot has now docked. It will receive energy from the charger. During this period the computer can perform defrag or other dismaintenance utilities. The charging period will depend on the state of the battery.